welcome cancer we are going to be looking at what you need guidance with right now using the shadow healing cards the cosmic reading cards and osho zen tarot Alrighty, let's get into it cancer three cards for cancer please three cards for cancer One has flipped out, the other one fell out, so I'll put that one back. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. And they are there. Alrighty. Something like that. Okay, so the first card here is obscurity. Often we overcomplicate situations when the best option is in plain sight, but overlooked as being too easy. Sometimes, however, it really is as simple as that. Okay. Interesting. Next card, deception. Deception can have long-term effects on a person's soul. However, we need to be more careful about those we place our trust in. Not everyone deserves this respect. This is Oh, I, yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. Okay, and the last card here is dumbfounded. Sometimes there are no words for things that happen, and the best you can do is shake your head, have a giggle, and move straight past it. That seems almost like it depends on what it is, <laughs> to be honest with you, because some things aren't that easy to just have a giggle about. But anyway, looking at its obscurity, okay. One more card for obscurity for cancer, please. Often we overcomplicate situations when the best option is in plain sight, but overlooked as being too easy. Sometimes, however, it really is as simple as that. Yeah, true. We have gratitude has popped out here and hope. Wow. Okay. So, two cards for gratitude for Cancer, please. Wow. Okay. Interestingly enough here, um, Cancer, I feel like there's potentially been some sort of loss of connection with, um, you know, sometimes when things go on, we, we lose the connection with, say, like the higher power or our higher selves or something like that. So, it could just be a matter of plugging in okay um and going into the silence right um kind of like calling on the elements and asking the elements to come in to soothe you all right maybe getting out into the elements um but i feel like cancer for some of you It may feel for you as though something's missing. And it may be a matter of simply calling in everything you would normally call on or everyone even that you would normally call on in order to help you with something in a situation this is really interesting because I can feel it I can feel like there's something missing and maybe the point is that there is nothing missing but it's this it's this complication of the matter within the mind that makes it seem like there is mm. Yeah, and we have hope here. Um, I feel like, see, this is this connection again, right? Debris, debris in our mind can get in the way of connecting into the hope, right? Um, so this could be very important for you to do. Meditate, all right? And you may say, oh, can't be that simple. It could be, right? But what's obscuring you right now is the debris of the mind. Okay, so two cards for hope. 
Go Cancer, please. Okay, great. Yep, we have sorrow and clinging to the past. Yep, sorrow of the past here, right? Um, and I feel like also, Cancer, this is putting on a happy face and pretending like everything is okay when in fact it's really not. And just underneath the surface, just in the box here that is being put on the head, blinged up to look all fancy, um, is this person doing this. Take the box off and this is what you get, right? The box can no longer stay on, Cancer. The box needs to come off. Mm. deception is this potentially cancer you deceiving yourself right is that what this is about deceiving yourself is it's all right everything's fine it'll go away eventually so long as i keep the box on it'll go away time heals everything time allows us to get used to living with something but it doesn't heal necessarily. We need to do the work to heal. Okay? We need to do that work. Because time just allows us to get used to living with it. Deception. Two cards for deception, please. Deception can have long-term effects on a person's soul. However, we need to be more careful about those we trust, place our trust in. Not everyone deserves this respect. Okay, so, and this is the thing, you know, this can even be the, the voice in the mind, you know, does, do we need to listen to that voice that is forever harping on and on and on and on? Not necessarily. Is it always helping us? Not necessarily. Right, that card has gone flinging on oh, goodness knows where. Let me go and hunt it down. Okay, so, the first card we have here is be fearless. Ooh, I like this. Be fearless in the face of deception. Stand in your power. Oh, this is a, this looks like a lighthouse. This came up earlier and I never noticed it, but this to me looks like a lighthouse. This is about you shining your light. This is interesting here, Cancer. I feel like, Cancer, I feel like your light is brighter than the light of hope. Because look at this, Cancer, look at this. This is hope here, right? It's hope. But your light, your faith in yourself, when you allow that to shine, it is, it is brighter than hope. And, and I feel like in this situation here, Cancer, it's important for you to rather than listen to everyone else and what they're saying, even though you're listening to me right now, but listen to what I'm saying, okay? Rather than listening to everyone else, they are speaking from their point of view and their experience, what they would do in a situation and what may have helped them. That's them. That's their life and that works for them or worked for them. This is you. This is you dealing with this cancer and it's important for you to shine your own light to guide the way for you. Because right now, I feel like out of everyone else in the entire world, it is you that you need to trust the most. It is your internal guidance system that you need to listen to. Yes, hold on to hope. Yes, have gratitude, right? But know that you have the goods, Cancer, to lead your own way. You do it for everyone else. You help them through stuff and you help them lead the way. You help lead the way for them, sorry, right? But this time it's time to do it for yourself, okay? And you have the ability, you have more than the ability to do that, okay? So be fearless, two cards, for cancer, please, for be fearless. Tell me more. Ha. Tell them. Oh, I just lost it. But that's all right. It happened. Okay. Be fearless. Playfulness and integration. 
Yeah, see, this is the thing again, drawing on everything you have, right? Even this card here, drawing on all the tools that you have, okay? And bring playfulness into it. Have fun with it, Cancer. It doesn't have to be heavy. It doesn't have to be serious. You can have fun with it, okay? Um, because that's going to bring joy into your life and that's going to help dissipate any negative energy which could be surrounding um, yourself or a particular situation or even anyone around you, okay? So the next card we have here is Transformation. Oh, I love this. Transformation something in this being part of nature using nature to transform maybe this is about you getting out of nature but I feel like it goes deeper than that it's like because I'm looking at the veins on the leaves here And so this is kind of like cancer really going within and drawing on the source of your internal being to shine the light that will lead you. Yeah. Connecting your heart, connecting into your heart, connecting the mind, heart and spirit in order to help with this transformation. Two cards for transformation, please. Where did that go? Down there. Whoa, this is transformation. Yeah, you have all the tools. Yeah, see, this is just confirming, right? You have all the tools to help with this transformation. But this is a huge transformation because we have two cards coming out here with transformation. Not only that, but under deception, we have Be Fearless, number three. We have Transformation, number 13. And we have Transformation, number 33. Holy macaroni. This is, this is huge. Okay, we've had four cards pop out for this. And we're taking them because this is how huge it is. Okay, transformation. This is going to change your entire world and those around you. This is going to bring in the people who you connect the most with this is going to bring more of those people in okay um it's going to open up your awareness okay which could be a little bit daunting okay there could be some um sense of wanting to control what is going on okay or this could be other people trying to control a situation they could be trying to control you becoming aware of what is going on but I feel like, actually, Cancer, you can't change what is going on here. You can't change at all um, this process, even if you tried, okay, because of how absolutely massive this is. Like, holy, holy heck. Okay, so we've got dumbfounded here, which... Now seems even more like, you know, it feels like it should be like a pow punch thing, punch line to the end. But <clears throat> let's have a look. And, you know, though, this could very well help you in this time of transformation because of how massive it is. Sometimes there are no words for things that happened, happen. And the best thing you can do is shake your head, have a giggle and move straight past it. So this could be just, you know, Taking everything with a grain of salt, potentially, here, Cancer, right? So, dumbfounded. Two cards for dumbfounded for Cancer, please. Here it goes, flying again. Okay, and that one's there too. Okay. Okay, so we've got celebration here. Um, and I feel as though with this celebration card, the thing is, Cancer, that potentially, it, maybe even without you knowing, at some point in your life, you planted a seed okay um it could have even been um this lifetime it could have been past lifetime lifetime but you've planted a seed and without even realizing it 
that seed has taken off. It has grown um, beyond what you could have ever imagined, okay, and transformed. You, you may have planted a seed and thought, oh, this is going to grow into, you know, this kind of tree, right? But it, what has happened is it's grown into this and you're like, even you're quite taken aback with that. And, um, you know, sometimes there are no words for things that happen right. And the best you can do is shake your head, have a giggle and move straight past it and not, you know, try and figure out why did that happen? And I thought it was this and this person said it was this seed and it wasn't and it was this and blah, 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 right? Celebrate. Celebrate the beauty that has happened. Um, celebrate, you know, the fact that it didn't turn out the way you thought it would, but celebrate the beauty of it anyway. Okay, so two cards for celebration, please, because there's been lots of growth along the way and still more to come, much, much more to come here. And, um, and so I really do feel like it's important for you to celebrate the potential growth that is going to come if it's too difficult for you to celebrate um, this right now. Okay, we've got conditioning here and we've got exhaustion. Okay, um, and for some of you, it's taken so much much strength to uh, break out of the conditioning that potentially has happened. Okay, this could even be if some of you have been controlled by a, a particular person or even an institution. There could be a bit of an awakening as to how that has happened for you and what is going on, potentially, especially in the world as at the moment this could be quite um daunting for you maybe um but there's been definitely this is the thing with the exhaustion card and with this coming up here and what has come out about this not turning out the way you thought it was going to be this could be the exhaustion of trying to make something be a certain way and it just was never meant to be a certain way anyhow and maybe you're absolutely spent trying to make that happen so it's time now just to let things transform as they need to okay um i don't really feel like you have much control over that and maybe it's the case cancer that what you can't see right now is that things are going to end up more beautiful than what you could have ever perceived but it's just sometimes there comes a point during a transformation where things are very um very uncomfortable, very murky and mucky and um, and they seem quite um, wrong, I guess you could say, okay? So just be aware of that. But boy, oh boy, here, Cancer, we have shine. And all I see here is growth. You know, this is you bursting out with your light, right? Your light and letting that shine and... Um, I want to say to you, do not hold back. Do not allow this to get in your way. Do not believe the deception that goes on in your mind. Okay, Cancer, please do not let all the debris of the thoughts bring you down and stop you from stepping into the confidence of who you are. Okay, well, celebrate yourself, all right? Um, so two cards for shine, please. For cancer, two cards for shine. What the heck? They really are jumping out today. Okay, so we've actually got three cards here, but let me get that one that jumped across the room. Okay, I stood up and I saw the card on the ground and I'm like, oh my God, exactly like that. I just had to replay that for you because I'm like, holy heck, what's this card here? Wow. Ugh, cancer holy macaroni <sighs> let me just soak in this energy for a tick here because this is wow um we've got these cards here we've got the master we've got the lovers we've got harmony honestly cancer like what is oh. please don't stand in your way Please don't let anyone else stand in your way. Because, again, there's this connection here of this, this heart 
mind, okay? This is, you know, kind of breaking through maybe potentially some blockages here, okay? And allowing this inner master to step forward. And um, this here, Cancer, did I call you Gemini? Why is Gemini popping up for me right now? I don't think I did, but this is definitely infused with your energy, so no worries about that. Uh, but it could be actually because of this card here. This is, you know, a Gemini card. So some of you may be dealing with the Gemini potentially. Um, but this could also be you coming up against yourself in a sense. Um, and, you know, you really looking at yourself in an honest way. And dropping all the things that you are seeing that are holding you back from being this master that you are, which is stopping the harmony that you actually have been working for all of your life to come through. And that harmony occurs when you allow yourself to shine bright. Brighter than hope, because that's how powerful you are here, Cancer. Like, Right? And, and and I feel like when that happens, you will be dumbfounded. And you'll be like, I don't even know what to do but laugh right now. Because what else do you do? You know? So, yeah. Wow, wow, we. This is incredible. Um, so, yeah. Please don't hold back, Cancer. Because this transformation is huge. So, allow it to happen. Okay, Cancer, and allow yourself to receive it because you deserve it because, you know, of who you are, right? Of who you are and the potential that you have, like, yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.